I request you please subscribe my channel. Currently, you can see I have uploaded more video on the many video on Raspberry Pi, Arduino, then Python programming, then some uh, webinar so that uh, it can grow your career. So if you want to learn something from me, it is free and you have to just click on this subscribe button and all the video it is it is very unique and you will learn definitely many things from me i upload a mostly video on raspberry pi mostly video on iot then arduino there are different types of project i have explained and each project having the programming part so please subscribe my channel please support me and please enhance your knowledge by watching my video. hello friend today's video is very special video because in this video we will not we will not follow our regular approach so basically uh, i will tell you the reason behind this video so one of my students requested me sir please make a video which having the moisture sensor which having the soil moisture sensor and stepper motor and she don't want the lcd also in in, in her project so uh, as you know we have done many project which having the moisture sensor stepper motor with lcd but she wants only moisture sensor and stepper motor she don't want the lcd part and other sensor part so what i think let's make a video in which i will download my two video uh, project and i will try to create that project live what she want so basically what i will do i will first download my smart irrigation project so in this smart irrigation project you can see there is a soil moisture sensor raspberry pi and there is a lcd so what i will do i will only take the soil moisture sensor and raspberry pi from this project itself and we will delete the unwanted part that is we will delete the rain sensor part, we will delete the temperature sensor part, GSM model part. So from this project, we will only take the soil moisture sensor and raspberry pi. Okay. Then in the second video, there is another video color detection video. So in the second video, you can see there is a stepper motor and there is a raspberry pi. So we have the two project which having the two different requirement of the one project. So first requirement satisfy from this project and second requirement satisfy from this another project so what we will do in the live i will download these two project then i will combine these two project into one project so at the end of this video you will get you will also get the idea how to create how to delete any unwanted part that is you don't want it from my any project or how to add any extra part that you want from my another project into your project so we will learn how to combine how to create this project with the help of my already available video and this is the live learning session i this video definitely give you more idea about programming language more idea about thinking so i request you please watch this complete video so that you will also get the idea how to design and develop project by yourself with the help of my previous video okay now first what will we do we will first download this smart irrigation project from my google drive link so you can see at the end of each and every video description there is one google drive link so you can find this the, this is the uh, google drive link of this project so i will download this project from my google drive link live in front of you so i will go to this google drive link and here you can see there is a smart irrigation project so i will download this project so I am downloading this project, Smart Irrigation project. So you can see download is started. Yeah, and project successfully downloaded. So I will go to that folder, downloaded folder. So you can see downloaded folder this one. So I will copy this folder. and paste into my drive I will give here name soil moisture ok so I have given here the name soil moisture and stepper motor stepper motor inside that I am pasting the project whatever I have downloaded then after that this is the 7-zip file so you, you have to extract that file so 7-zip extract here so you require any winzip software and anything so you will find the this pro protest project 
now we will open this protease project into our protease software so this is my protease software right click run as administrator and click on yes button now click on this open project and again go to the downloaded folder wherever we have extracted that file so youtube raspberry pi and then uh, soil moisture stepper motor and this mat irrigation project i will open here so you can see the project is open now first we have to save as this project with our new project name so click on this file and click on this save as so original project name and as it is so here now we are creating new folder soil moisture and stepper motor and inside that i i am giving the file name soil moisture and stepper motor and click on this save button so now you can see the project name is save as with soil moisture and stepper motor now we will delete the unwanted part so basically we want only raspberry pi and soil moisture sensor from this project okay so now we will delete unwanted part we don't require the rain sensor so rain sensor we deleted from here we don't require rain sensor so whatever the rain sensor part we deleted then another part we don't require is uh, this relay model we don't require relay, relay model so we will delete the relay model then we will delete the temperature sensor because we don't want temperature sensor also then we will don't require that lcd model so delete that lcd model pins also all the lcd model pins i have deleted then we don't require gsa model so that also deleted from here okay now you can see we have only soil moisture sensor and that is connected to our adc model so that adc model i will kept as is because adc 0.1 is connected with i think with the soil sensor so you can see adc 0.1 is connected with the soil sensor so this circuit is completed raspberry pi soil moisture sensor now that we will move to the programming part so first save this project so click on this save project okay now we will see into the source code now whatever we don't require from the source code we will delete that part so you can see um, in the source code first thing is we don't require the lcd pin so whatever the lcd pin we define we deleted that lcd pin from our model so in my this video so in my this video smart irrigation project video i have detail explain each and every important steps each and every important line of source code so whatever the line used for the lcd that i will delete so I, because i don't want the lcd pins code so lcd pin line i will delete this one this comes under the lcd part then also i don't want the relay part so i will delete that relay part then rain sensor i don't want so i will delete the rain sensor part temperature sensor i don't want so i will delete the temperature sensor part then after that you can see uh, whatever the lcd pins number is here i will delete the lcd pin number because i don't want that lcd code the relay pin i don't want the relay pin i don't want the rain sensor so whatever the pins which is reflected lcd relay sensor i will delete so from number line number 58 you can see all this related to lcd 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 functions lcd function till lcd string till here so you can see till here it is related to lcd so i am deleting that part then after that def read channel is basically adc which is required for the uh, soil moisture sensor so i will keep it here as it is convert temperature we don't require because we don't need temperature sensor so i will delete that part so till now we have deleted the lcd lcd init we don't require this function we don't require the lcd so whatever the lcd part i am deleting lcd delete delete then delete this lcd function delete 
then main main function started so here you can see in the main function uh, temperature sensor we don't require so delete that temperature sensor part convert temperature we don't require lcd temperature value we don't require so delete that one now only moisture sensor yeah we require moisture sensor so red channel moisture sensor that is required so i will place it is as it is here then after that moisture sensor value on the lcd we don't require because we don't have the lcd so no use there then rain sensor no use then temperature moisture level less than 100 so here we don't require the temperature sensor data so i will delete that one rain sensor i don't require so i will delete that one so only i require the moisture sensor and only moisture sensor so that's i keep moisture sensor then after that you can see relay part don't require then lcd don't require at command that is used for the gsm model don't require then else part else part whatever delay part we don't require then lcd don't require motor stop don't require rain sensor don't require lcd part don't require so whatever the part we needed we need only moisture sensor value less than 100 and after here we will place our uh, code for the stepper motor so once the moisture sensor less than 100 then stepper motor start rotating if not then stepper motor stop rotating so that part we uh, define here so up till now you can see whatever the part we don't require lcd we don't require relay motor don't require so whatever the part we don't require we will simply delete it from our code and how i understand that code because i already know the logic of code and if you want to know the logic of code you should definitely watch my each and every video so in this smart irrigation video i explain that logic of lcd temperature sensor and whatever i don't require i just deleted that part so up till now we only interface the soil moisture sensor with the raspberry pi so this part is completed up, up till here okay so now this from this project we have taken the soil moisture and we have taken the raspberry pi now from the next project we have to take the stepper motor raspberry pi code and stepper motor connection so first download this project again so this is the google drive link for that project object sorting robot project so copy this paste here so download this object sorting code i already downloaded you can see i already downloaded here color detection object sorting project and project is there so i will open this project into proteus software so again i will open the proteus software with run first proteus software is already there you can see first proteus software is already there it is already open so this i uh, minimize then again i open the proteus software with the new window so run as administrator now here again go to the project open project and again go to the downloaded project youtube raspberry pi then color detection then color object sorting robot click on open i hope you are understanding what i am uh, telling you okay now here you can see we require this servo motor connection so what i will do i just select this servo motor right click copy to clipboard from this project and again open my another project right click paste from the clipboard and paste here so you can see ready made servo motor comes here uh, with the all connection okay this part is done now next part is we have to copy the code servo motor code from this uh, servo object sorting robot so go to the source code now here you will find the servo pin is 18 number so copy this line and open the project soil moisture source code and paste that line after declaration of this import so servo pin we define to the 18 number here then after that second code again i open now here you can see servo pin whatever servo pin control f find where where we use servo pin that line we have to copy so here you can see initialization of servo motor as a output pin so copy this line gpi of setup servo pin as output go to soil moisture sensor code and paste that pin as a gpi output so this part also done then again go to the first project then you can see uh, gpi pwm for the servo motor we have to set to 50 degree initialize servo motor so this again two line is important 
of servo motor initialization of servo motor you can see basically these three lines are important so i will copy these three lines again and paste into this my after servo motor definition right here so you can see i have pasted here so this done then after that i will search for the next pin of servo motor where is defined then again copy this servo motor find control f and find where it use this here this here then here and then we start okay so why let us dip again time area yeah. so here you can see this is also p star chain duty cycle so basically it is used for to rotate the servo motor so i will copy this four lines you can see value rotate the shift so copy this four line from the if part here and i will paste into my soil moisture sensor after if part of soil moisture sensor is greater than 100 so make sure whenever you are pasting into if part there should be one step space otherwise it will give indentation error so you can see if there is one step space and then a control line whatever the line of code i align in the one line then again copy this and else part nothing we have to do nothing so do nothing is there anything in the other project do nothing means no whatever we don't have to paste anything so don't care so here simply else part we will delete that so let's see our project is working fine or not okay so up till now what we have done we have only take the soil moisture sensor raspberry pi edc value from the one project servo motor from the another project <coughs> and in the source code we only uh, we only save whatever our code is required and other unwanted code we have deleted now we will compile the project okay we will start the project just see where if there is any error or not okay there is some error we have to solve that error just we check what is the error so click on yes button you can see unable to load the hex file of soil moisture sensor so we have to first load the hex file into soil moisture sensor so double click on this soil moisture sensor go to the folder and here in uh, in this project where smart irrigation project <coughs> where we download the smart irrigation project there is a uh, soil sensor library so double click on this and you, you have to load this hex file and this also i have explained in my previous video of uh, smart irrigation project so these steps you have to load the hex file of the soil moisture sensor again click on the save button again uh, if there are another error just see okay there's that only error again we we'll run the code so live i am telling you how to run the project now you can see project is running without any error uh, the soil value we have to increase so that this taper motor can be rotated so how to increase the or decrease soil value so you can see there is two arrow and please focus on this taper motor let's see if the taper motor will rotate or not now you can see once i run the code so you can see code is perfectly but after some time it is giving the compilation error so click on this compilation error and see what happened you can see here p is not defined it is showing p is not defined even we copy that p uh, line from the another project so you can see this is the another project and here you can see the p variable is defined with this servo motor initialization so you can see initialization servo motor we define here but even that is uh, deleting after running the code so how to solve that one just go to the project again then go to the source code and again check if there any unwanted data is there so this is we don't require so we will again delete the this unwanted data peripheral setup we don't require till peripheral loop end we don't require this so we will delete that one then after that def main we don't require loop don't require setup don't require we delete that part uh, then after that while loop there is you can see there is one space sorry you can see uh, after before while there is a one space we have to delete that one space otherwise it will give indentation error so what is indentation error i will show you live once again so let's say if i run the code again 
you can see there is error and error is showing while one indentation error because before while there is space so we have to delete that space to solve this indentation error so in python it is very important to solve the indentation error then again check after a while there is a one test space yes and all things are alive align uh, then after that delete this main we don't require this pass also so here you can see we deleted almost unwanted all the part from the code again save the code and run the code again so here you can see perfectly working there is no error uh, yeah again some error is coming p is not defined again showing p is not defined so i think we forgot to define initialization part again so yeah so again we copy that initialization part from the soils from the object sorting robot copy these three lines initialization we facing this error p partner so we are copying this three line and paste into our project after adc before while one so paste that one and save so now we completed the part now we will check again if there is any error or not so just run the code so once we run the code again there is an error what is showing gpi.setup server pin server pin is not defined so i think we again forgot something from the first server pin so just check what is server pin here so you can see this server pin so yeah we have to define this server pin server pin 18 into our project so server pin paste into our project so that define is missing so again run the soil moisture sensor project with server motor so you can see let's wait if they're in error or not now you can see there is no error so once we decrease the server uh, moisture sensor value below uh, uh, below value like below 100 then no server motor should rotate now i decrease the value you can increase and decrease the value by clicking this arrow so i'm taking at the bottom so value should be less than 100 but still value is less than 100 the servo motor is not rotating you have to debug this issue so how to debug the issue i will tell you in live so first point is we have to check whether our moisture sensor is working perfectly or not okay so how to check the moisture sensor so how to check the moisture sensor working perfectly or not we have the print statement the python so we will use that statement print and then uh, bracket moisture level copy this and paste into this print statement so whatever the moisture level uh, during runtime we will see on this screen so again save run click on this run button and then go to the source code and here you will find the variable value so just wait for some seconds simulation is running click on this uh, this uh, message so you can see variable value 00, 0 that means something is coming from the moisture so sensor again increase the moisture sensor value to let's say maximum till here go to again source code click on this so you can see moisture sensor value increases to 1022 1022 190 95 and it's working perfectly so i think there is no issue of the moisture sensor let's say top value of the moisture sensor we will take and again check here yeah it's updating you can see 519 its current value so our moisture sensor is working working perfectly there is no issue so issue may be in the servo motor so let's check what the issue in the servo motor okay so in the servo motor uh, we have to check the code from the previous project so let's say this is the object sorting road uh, whatever we copied is correct or not so we copied server pin 18 then we copied the initialization of motor here you can see we copied the initialization motor and we also copied this one which is rotating servo motor but one thing we forgot like whenever we are using the gpio pin we have to set the board as gpio board so this line we forgot so copy this line gpio set mode gpio board again go to the project uh, first project this one soil stepper so raw motor project stop the project from here let's say stop the project
then after that go to the source code and check here after parameter yeah we forgot that line and this line is very important whenever you are, we are using the gpio pins and then save the project again run the project now this time servo motor should work yeah you can see road start rotating it's a calibration at the starting of project calibrate the motor now the value is greater than 100 so servo motor is not rotating oh something okay just wait yeah uh, so motor calibrate servo motor calibrate now you can see value is greater than 100 uh, that means servo motor is not rotating now i will decrease the value of motion sensor to below 100 let's wait yeah you can see start rotating so whenever the value below 100 the servo motor start rotating continuously so again wait again check whether it's working it should be rotated yeah it start rotating because value is below 100 now i will increase the value above 100 at the top and again wait for some second so it will take some time to read this moisture sensor value so wait for some second yeah now you can see servo motor stop rotating so that means our project is successfully working and i live show you how to use two different project to create your own project only point is you have to watch the two video whatever the two project video you have to watch completely so that you will also get idea about program part and then whatever the copy paste delete the object unwanted code you can delete and you can develop and design this project by yourself if you like the content please click on the like button Please subscribe my channel okay and one very important part is if you want the ready-made simulation of this project you can uh, this project soil moisture servo motor with raspberry pi you can directly download from my google drive link the google drive link given in the description of video you have to just download then load the x file and just click on this run button your project start working no need to do the all the step what i do uh, what i uh, what i told you in the video it just for your information if you want the ready-made project you can directly download and follow the steps and load the expert and it will work so ready-made project also available to you